here's a new Amazon Fire TV. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. So first thing is just go ahead and put your batteries into your remote. You can see a little down arrow. So you want to go ahead and put your thumb here and press down this way like that to insert the batteries. Okay. Insert the batteries, turn your TV on. First screen here is choose your language. So, and your remote should work right away. Okay. So I'm going to go with English here. Scanning for networks, I'm going to connect to my home Wi-Fi network here. Right there, I'm going to go ahead and put in my password. Now take note, if you bought this off of Amazon and you didn't uncheck where it says save all my previous information because they may already know your Wi-Fi and your Wi-Fi password. If you didn't uncheck that and you bought off Amazon, then uh, they already know your, uh, your Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi password. You don't have to go through this. Okay, anyway, I, I unchecked it, so i got to start from the very beginning. After you put your password in, you want to go down, highlight connect down there, and click on enter. Connection successful. Checking for updates. Downloading the latest software. TV will restart in a few seconds. Booting back up now. Now we get updating there. You can see the progress bar right there. Okay, now it's done updating, now it's downloading the latest software. Finishing updates. All right, so now you need to go ahead and sign in with your Amazon account. If you don't have one, you can go ahead and create a new Amazon account right there. Okay, so I already have an account, so I'm gonna go have an account, sign in. I'm gonna click on okay on the remote here. So now we have two steps here, okay? Now we have to go ahead and sign in our Amazon account at amazon.com slash code. And then step two, we have to use that code down here, okay? Now we can use a computer or we can use our phone, okay? What I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and use my phone here, and then I'm going to go to, so you can see in my address bar here, I have www.amazon.com front slash code, and I'm going to go ahead and click on go down here on my phone. Now I need to sign into my Amazon account, and then once I sign in, this page here comes up, and I need to go ahead and register my device. Got to put in that code down there, which is E B Z Q. Z and then number nine. That's my code there. Let me press on continue here. Your registration is complete now. Now give it one second. It's automatically going to go ahead and start moving your um, TV. Successfully registered. And it says here, welcome Virgil. Now if you want to, if that's the wrong account, you can always change the account. Okay, this is right for me. I'm going to go ahead and go to continue. Click on OK. And save Wi-Fi password to Amazon. That's up to you. You can do yes or no. For me, I'm going to go ahead and go with no. Now for me, I get this restore TV because I um, purchased previous Fire TVs before from Amazon. So I can go ahead and restore, but I'm going to go ahead and skip it. I'll do it from the very beginning here so all of you guys can see. I'll skip that. And now, and on this screen here, you can enable parental controls or no parental controls. Okay, for me, I'm fine with no parental controls here. I'm going to click on OK. Now from here, you have to choose your streaming devices. You can go ahead and get started, but what, I, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to no thanks here. I already know what apps I want to download. I want to download like YouTube, Netflix, HBO Max, and so on. You can go ahead and read through that and just click on got it down there. Now it says scan for TV channels. You can add TV channels to your Fire TV. Do you want to set up now? You can go ahead and uh, you can try to go ahead and set that up if you wish. For me, I'm not interested in this. I just want streaming um, channels or apps. So for me, I'm going to go with no. I can always go back and scan it later on if I wish, okay? Okay, so signing me in my account now. I'm going to go with my profile right here. Click on OK on the remote. Okay, now you guys have to go ahead and start downloading the apps that you want. For example, if you want like Netflix, just go to Netflix. And then uh, you need to go ahead and uh, download it. And then once it's done downloading, you need to go ahead and um, sign in or create a new account. And I'll show you how to do a search as well, okay? So, for example... I also want to download HBO Max, so just click on the home button, and then what you do is you just want to go to the right and just go all the way down to right that icon right there, and just click on OK, and then you can go ahead and look for your apps down here. I see HBO Max here, but if you have an app that's not on here, like uh, for example, I don't see, oh, there's Disney Plus here, well let's just pretend there's an app here, or there's an app, the app's not in here, what you can do is you can do a search as well. What you can do is just go back to the home button 
and then you can see right there it says find go to find and go down and then just go to search right here go to search and then you can go ahead and type type it in so from here search your app like I can go to HBO Max or this is Alexa remote as well you can press and hold this and I can go HBO Max and then let go and it here's should... HBO Max voila there it is and I can go ahead and download it right there now I downloaded HBO Max now you can see those um, apps right there that's your favorites right there I want HBO Max on my favorites so just go to your home page and then what you want to do is you can just go all the way over to the right and go to that icon right there and then let me find my HBO Max so here's HBO Max what I want it is up there on my favorites okay so let me go ahead and highlight that and then I'll go on the remote here and I'll press the three lines right here the three horizontal lines I'll click on that and then you can see it's on move already. So I want it on move. I'll click on OK on the remote. Now I'm going to go ahead and move this up right there. Click on OK. And then when I click on the home button now, my HBO Max is on my favorites. Okay, pretty simple. Any questions or issues with the setup, just comment below. All right, good luck.